So, how do you solve a business challenge or a bottleneck with data science? Now, there are a lot of steps in it. You directly can't go to the business and say that I will solve this problem which you are facing in the business with this solution. You will have to have a layered approach and you will need to have a team of people handling different tasks. So, the first stage will be a business analysis stage or a stage where a business analyst or a team of business analysts will work on the challenges, bottlenecks or the issues the business or the end user is facing and they will transform those issues, those feedback in the form of a business problem and when you label it as a business problem, it will have a proper definition. Now that definition of the business problem will be read by the senior data scientist or the team of data scientists and then they will look at that business problem and change it to a data science problem. This is a very important step. A lot of projects just get in this stage and get stuck or they get discarded because not all business problems can be done or should be done in the data science approach. There could be other approaches to solve business problems as well. So let's say you have a business problem and you transfer it to a data science problem with the help of data scientists or a senior data scientist. Then when you have a data science problem, you will have to have some kind of a solution design to that data science problem. Now when you have to go from a data science problem to the solution design, you will have to first lay down the scope of the problem, the assumptions and the desired goals or outcomes of this data science problem. So once you have designed the solution for this, you will pass it on to the implementation phase, the solution implementation phase. Now over here, a team of junior data scientists or software developers will work to implement the solution. Now once this is implemented, it will go to the assessment phase. Now, when you are assessing it, obviously you will need the help of a senior data scientist. So if let's say the desired outcome is achieved and your assessment is positive assessment, so you will transfer it back to the business analyst or the business and through the help of a deployment team, which would be essentially a team of junior data scientists and software developers and data engineers. So now once you get to the deployment phase, the business analysts and the end users will then look at the solution, how good that was. Then you have done the entire flow of the data science problem, right? Right from the start, the business challenge to the implementation of the solution. Now let's say that when you are traversing that path, you encounter that the assessment of the solution is not positive, right? So how do you handle that? So then you'll have to go back to the data science problem and solution design phase. Maybe the data science formulation which you have done, the scope, the assumptions which you have thought of is not good enough. Maybe the design is not good enough. Maybe something has gone wrong in the implementation phase, right? So this loop will keep on repeating, right? So generally people don't think of it in this way, but maybe this is implicit in their thinking, right? So I have just given you a proper structure as to how do you look at a problem which a user, an end user or a business is facing and how do you transfer it to the data science team and how do you then use their ideas, their solutions to help your business issue. And if you want to watch what all kinds of data science problems are there, then definitely watch this video. This will give you the essence of all the data science problems which are there.